This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. So, what have I got for you today then? Well, you might recall that a little while ago, a couple of weeks or so, I did a video on like uh, a beginner's guide to playing blues. And I've had another viewer request, uh, would I tackle the subject of power chords in the same kind of manner? Basically, an entry-level guide to playing power chords, what they are, uh, where to play them on the neck, how they work, all of that sort of stuff. So... Always willing to oblige? Here we go. Right, so what can we say about power chords then? Well, first of all, let's uh, call them what they actually are or how they're written. Whenever you see them in a tab or in a song or something, they are called five chords. And here's why. Usually, when we play a chord, let's take a C major chord. There it is. That chord consists of the first, third, and fifth notes of a C major scale. Okay, here's a C major scale. Like that, and we take the first note, the third note, and the fifth note. And then we can repeat the uh, some of those notes again on the uh, higher strings. But that's all you strictly need, the first, third, and fifth notes. Now... If we were to take that third note and flatten it by a semitone, just move it down a fret from the second fret there to the first fret, that would now make a C minor chord. Okay. So it's the third which defines the chord as being either major or minor. And in a power chord situation, what you do is you don't play the third. You play the first note, the root, and the fifth. Like that, and what I'm going to do now is play the root with that finger, and I'm going to move the fifth there on that string. So that now gives me a power chord, and quite often we add the root again an octave higher, like that. And that is uh, a power chord, that is a five chord, it's made up from the first and fifth notes of the scale. And because it doesn't contain a third, it is neither major nor minor. Okay, so you can play a power chord, a five chord, in place of either a major or a minor chord in a song or whatever. So that means that, um, as I say, power chords are neither major nor minor. And that is one of the shapes that we're going to be dealing with here. And you can now see uh, what different power chords you will get at any given fret. So at the first fret, it's an A sharp or B flat five power chord. Then a B5 power chord, C5, C sharp or D flat 5, and so on as you go all the way up the neck. Uh, and there is one other shape that we can use as well. well there are more, there's more than one, but the other one that we're going to look at today is this shape. We just move that entire fingering onto the sixth string root. There it is there. And now we get this entire progression of chords, power chords, five chords, as you move up from one fret to another. So F5, F sharp or G flat five, G5, G sharp or A flat five, and so on as you progress up the neck. So once you know where these chords are, and for all my wonderful Patreon supporters, you'll be getting a PDF with uh, all of that information on. Uh, once you know where they are, um, you can move power chords up and down the neck to play some chunky sounding rock sort of stuff, which is what we're going to look at next. There is another technique we do need to talk about, though, because when we're playing power chords, quite often there is the technique of palm muting. So I'm just going to swing the camera around. So you can see my uh, picking hand. Now, palm muting, it's a little bit of a misnomer, really, because you don't use the palm of your hand. You use the heel of your hand, this part of your hand here. And the best way I can describe this is if you just do um, sort of a, a karate chop on the bridge of the guitar like that, just at the point where the strings are leaving the bridge saddle. So that's along there. Just do that. 
and then as you lean forward to bring your pick onto the strings that will give you this kind of chunky palm muted sound and then you can lean back or just move back a little bit to get the non-muted sound muted non-muted like that and that's quite a nice way to create different textures in the rhythm guitar part if you're using power chords um, you'll often find songs have got um, like kind of a muted part for a verse then for the big shouty kind of catchy chorus bit you're taking the, the mute off and doing that sort of thrangy, karangy kind of um, approach there, which let, allows the chords to ring out. And here is a piece of music that uh, I recorded earlier, which basically walks through a few of these power chords and contrasts the uh, palm muted and the non-palm muted uh, technique of playing the chords. Here it is. And of course, you will find that little clip there that we've just been watching, uh, or that you've just been watching, um, up on my Patreon page, along with a PDF that I mentioned there as well. The PDF has those power chord shapes on it and all the information so you can locate them uh, at any given fret. You also get uh, the chord sequence for that piece of music that you heard there all kind of written out, and a backing track to play along with it, all up on my Patreon page. Only $3 a month, as I keep mentioning, and you get all of these little kind of uh, resources to help you make the most of these little YouTube lessons that I put up. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, yes. Um, don't forget, you can support a good cause by buying one of these T-shirts. Uh, a very talented chap called Pete, who goes by Axe Caricaturist, uh, did a little kind of caricature of me. And so I put it on a T-shirt, and the sale of the these t-shirts all the money that i would normally receive from them will go to zoe's place baby hospice which as i'm sure you know by now is a charity in middlesbrough that does loads of great work with very seriously ill kids so buy a t-shirt support a good cause or if you want to support the channel you can uh, buy a fret zealot tuition aid using the discount code you can see on screen there purchase link in the, is in the description as is uh, pete the uh, caricature artist his link is down there as well if you fancy uh, getting some work done by him for yourself and um that's pretty much all i've got for you today don't forget the live stream on friday 5 p.m as i'm sure you know uk time uh, any new subscribers here they are kind of dropping in uh, quite rapidly at the moment so if you're new to the channel every friday at five o'clock in the uk uh, or uk time we have a live stream and it's just a bit basically a bunch of old curmudgeons sitting around having a beer and uh, a natter and you know kicking off the weekend in uh, in a way 
that befits it. So there you go. Hope to see many of you there. And with that, I'll bid you good day and say thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Stay well, folks. Stay safe. And above all, stay sane. Bye for now.